Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another toy review. Today we're going to be looking at the 3.7 5 inch scale 5 POA action figure of Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels. Now this is a figure, it's about a year old now. Some places were hard to find this. Here we had a bunch of them. I actually have had this for about a year. I bought it. It came out with all the uh, Rogue Friday stuff last year when all the new Rogue One toys came out. And I've just been sitting on it and I'm like, I'm in a Rebels mood. I mean, you can tell by my hat that is inspired by Sabine. Um, I've got the Darksaber on the table. I've got a couple other Rebels toys here and there. Star Wars Rebels Season 4 is ending. So it's, it's you know, well, technically Season 4 is starting, but the show itself is ending. So I'm just like, gotta take in the Rebels as much as I can. But today we're gonna focus on Sabine for Mandalore. I love it. All right, so let's take a look at the outside of the box. You know like we like to do. All right, here are some close-ups. Take a look at the uh, Death Trooper there. It does have the old Rogue One kind of artwork to the package there, so it looks a little bit different than the Force Link figures I've been playing with lately. But there she is, there's Sabine Wren. I love that, she looks awesome. Nice little glow. I love all of these. In fact, all of the old Rogue One artwork, like the packages, are so cool. I, I kind of don't want to open it, but I will, just because I want to see all the features and everything. But there's Sabine. There's her helmet. She comes with two blasters. Some type of zip line. I love zip lines. They were all about zip lines in this wave of toys. There it is. Disney Hasbro. All right, let's read the blurb here. Mandalorian warrior Sabine Wren is an explosive expert and graffiti artist. Qualities that make her an excellent fit is one of the first rebels against the Empire. One of the first. I love it. it. Says download the Hasbro Star Wars Studio Effects app to make videos with your toys. Yes, this is correct. This is a wonderful app where you can do stuff. However, sometime mid last year, they quit updating the app. And it just it sucks because they released new toys with new codes, and those codes don't work. This one for Sabine likely will work, but it just, it you know what it does? I'll tell you what it does. It turns me into a sad baby. Look at that sad baby. Zero to three sad babies recommend this toy. I don't know if I do yet. Let's open this thing up and find out. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, nice clean cut. Very good. I miss that. I actually really like that. Um, when I was opening all the new Force Link ones, it's a bit harder. They're put together differently, so it, they don't open as cleanly. But I do, I miss how well these things opened up. Yeah, I can do clean open right here. Just split it. And it's going to be, like, no problem. And the card's going to be kept, like, perfect. There is a little thing about how to use the zip line. I do have a Hasbro Studio Effects code that I suppose I will show you guys. There you go. Try and scan that on your screens. Hopefully it'll work. I believe it will. All right, and let's get the figure out. Let's see if I can get her out of here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad at all. Let's kind of put all the bits and papers over there. I think this should just teach me how to use a zip line. Believe me, I'm an expert. Don't worry. Uh, it says tie it between two poles. Yeah, okay, it's a basic zip line. The only complaint I have about these zip lines... Okay, there's two complaints I have about these zip lines. Um, I'm not a fan of toys that weren't in the show or in the movie. If it wasn't in the movie, I don't need to see it. Is that fair? I, I feel like that's that's fair. If it wasn't actually in the movie, why are you including it? I just don't... Now, they, they seem to have learned that lesson. They did it really badly during all the Force Awakens toys. There are these weird build-a-blaster things that... I, I don't know anybody that liked it. Um, this time around for Rogue One, which was the 2016 toys, they were all about grappling hooks and zip lines. Like, every toy came with a grappling hook or a zip line. Which was cool, but it was also, like, a little obnoxious. It, like, you didn't get anything new or original. Just everyone's like, hey, we don't, we don't know what to give them. Yeah, just give them a zip line. It'll be fine. Which, you know, nine-year-old me is like, great, zip lines, more zip lines. But older me is just like, eh... I don't know how many zip lines I really need, especially if I'm planning on collecting every toy in this line. Now, as I open her up and get her all set up, I do like to mention... Ooh, she's got a bent arm. That's not what I wanted to mention, though. I wanted to mention that I do have Amazon links that I put in the video description, as well as a pinned comment. It's going to be links to this figure specifically, as well as links to my Amazon Influencer Store, which is a little store Amazon kind of set up for me where I can pick products that I like, things that I personally have in my collection, or whatever I want. 
usually it's stuff that I do video reviews on. And if you do any shopping through there, just like my regular links, I'll make a percentage of whatever you spend. So if you want to buy Star Wars stuff and you want to help out the channel, click on one of my links first. You don't even have to buy the same stuff that I recommend. You can buy anything. As long as you start on my link and make a purchase, I make a couple pennies and it doesn't cost you anything extra, which is probably my favorite part because you don't have to do anything other than you normally do. Really, I mean, just click on a link first. You go to my channel, start there, and then you do your shopping. Really, really easy way to help out. What I do is I take any of that ad revenue and any of my uh, ad revenue here from YouTube and I pour it back into the channel so that we can have cool stuff like this and do videos like this regularly. Okay, I've got the zip line kind of undone here. I don't know that I'm going to be able to actually hook all this up and make her do a zip line thing. I'm going to try. Darn it, I will try. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, she does have one straight arm and one not so straight arm, which we'll see close ups in just a little bit. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten about the close ups, but I do just want to, like, kind of make sense of how this thing works, maybe? Because some of these zip lines are, like, not best. <laughs> not designed in the best way. I think, I think I've, I'm onto something here. Let's see her zip. I don't know if you guys can see it from there, but. Oh. There we go. She needs a little bit of slack. But yeah, she does zip line across the way. Let's maybe tuck her legs in a little bit. There you go. In fact, oh, I lost Thrawn, but it's okay. Oh, and I lost Sabine. Okay, guys, time to take a look at some of the close-ups of the figure here. Take a look at Sabine. The eyes are a little wonky, but I'm actually okay with it. I like the coloring on the hair. That looks really good. Details on the sleeves and on the armor look great. Look at that little logo, the little Phoenix Rising logo. Checkerboard, I uh, love it. And her pistols do fit in the holster. She's a very, very thin and tiny figure. Uh, she has five points of articulation. Notice one arm is bent. This arm is always bent, so she'll always kind of have one pistol pointing at you. And then this one can go on the grappling hook, no problem. It does kind of go right up on her face. But that is how she grapples, kind of like that. You guys could see her in the other part of the video before I lost her. Uh, let's see how well she stands up. She is a little, she's like leaning a little bit. You notice that? Oh, she's going to be a tough standard. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. There we go. And the helmet, it is squishy. See how squishy that helmet is? But that means it's kind of easy to put on the head. Kind of. Not one-handed, of course, but... It's all right. There we go. It's a little bit better. Cool. And there she is, standing up, looking good. Here is the zip line. You guys can kind of see the two different pieces here. I've got them a little bit tangled, but that's okay. There we go. You string one to one pole, string one to the other. The hand grabs onto that bar. The arm can kind of go up in there, grab on it, and it'll slide through. Overall, a pretty solid figure. I like it a lot. I think she looks great. Now, I'm, that just means I have to open up the rest of these. I have to get into Fen Rao. I've got Kanan and Stormtrooper disguise. I have the Rebels version of Princess Leia. Thrawn. Thrawn was kind of a hard character to find. A lot of these didn't show up. Like, Fen Rao didn't show up in most stores. A lot of places are still like, where I can't even get a Fen Rao. I got lucky and I ordered Fen Rao along with uh, Radis and Cephla, which I still never did unboxing videos for. So, should I? Do you guys want to see me do reviews of Cephla and Radis and all the rest of them? If you do, let me know. I held off because I was like, eh, no one's going to want to see them. The more I think about it, the more I think there's probably not very many reviews on them. And I personally love Radis. He might be my favorite character from all of Rogue One. Sabine is probably one of my favorite rebels. I like the fact that she's an artist, that she customizes everything and paints it and makes it her own, kind of like someone I know. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I, I really, I actually, I really like that part about Sabine a lot. So it's cool. I'm glad Rebels was a thing. I'm sad that Rebels is going to be ending. Let me know what you guys think about this toy down in the comments below. What is your, who is your favorite rebel? That's what I want to know. Who, out of all the rebels, Kanan, Sabine, Hera, Zeb, Chopper, Ezra, I almost forgot Ezra's name. Like, who's your favorite rebel? Or is it Mon Mothma? Or is it Saul Guerrero after last night's episode? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this toy by rating the video. So I've been asking you guys to do this lately where you use the thumbs up and thumbs down to rate the toy. Not so much me, uh, but more the toy. If you really like the toy, take the time, please, to give a thumbs up. If you don't like the toy, thumb it down. It takes a second. Just I just want to see a little more of these going. Either way, it's not going to hurt my feelings if it goes down. It's fine. If you don't like the toy, you don't like the toy. That way when other people come and they read the comments about what you think... They hear me talk about what I think, and we all get a good rating as to how the toy is. People will know if this is something they should add to their collection or buy for a friend, family, loved one, whatever. That's how we should use the ratings, I think. So, please, do that if you haven't already subscribed. If you're already subscribed to the Dano channel, thanks for being a part of the family. Make sure you hit that little notification bell thing down there. Use the force on it. Just use it. Just do it. And uh, that way you'll be part of the Rogueification Squad. Name still, I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. Um, but you'll be part of the Rogueification Squad, which means you get a notification every time I drop a brand new video, and you can come in and comment and be first, first, or, you know, like you kids like to do. I don't know, it's a thing. It's a YouTube thing. Guys, that's all I got for right now. Thank you so much for watching. You know I love you. Until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever.